What's up guys, it's Chris here. Today we are checking out another bike which just came in and it is the Norco Storm 4, which quite a few people have been asking for. So there it is. So the Norco Storm 4, this is what people have been asking for. So here it is, we actually have one in stock. I'm pretty sure it's pre-sold, but we're gonna get a look at it before it's gone. This is essentially the Trek Marlin 5 from Norco. Geometry fits a slight bit different, which if you're into trail riding, actually works really well. Norco is a mountain bike company. If you look at that big rebrand on the website right now, you will see they like mountain biking. All their bikes are a little bit more trail geometry ready. It's hard to say it's much difference, but you are on top of the handlebars a little bit more, so you will get a little more control out of the front wheel. That being said, the tires are a little more street friendly in this model than I would say mountain bike ready like the XR2s of the Trek Marlin 5. It is an excellent kind of choice. It's a WTB uh, Starflight I think it's called. Yeah, the Starflight and it will roll really fast. It will get good traction on a nice path kind of perfect condition trail. If you get super dry though, I'm not sure of how much traction you'll get or super mud. I think you will lose a lot of traction with this one in a really wet trail system. So it has a nice hydraulic disc brake to it. This will get you going for any of your kind of commuting trails, everything, until you start going to like some heavy downhills. I wouldn't worry too much about brakes. These are a really good setup for kind of everyone who's doing anything. And they're gonna last a good long time. You won't need to bleed them too often, which is really nice. All right, so let's talk about the shifting. Shifting on this one is a three by seven. Um, it is the Shimano 20. It is a pretty good part spec. There's nothing crazy special about it. Um, definitely not the fastest in the world. And the downside to it, which everyone points out, is the lack of upgradability. This one is uh, not a cassette, so you can't take it off and, and just put a bigger thing on there. It's, uh, it is a free hub style. So it's just a little bit more difficult that way. Um, for the entry level kind of person, I don't think that's too much to worry about. You still have those three gears on the front, you'll still get all the range, and it is designed for what it's designed for, which is entry level trail biking and so on. I do like the entrance ports for the cables. They have these little kind of things here, plastic caps, I guess you would say, which kind of fill out the hole. It looks nice and clean prevents any rattling on the opposite side they have two cables going in so it's not needed but it just fills out and cleans that up it's a really clean looking bike it is a kind of small frame to it i can pretty much wrap my hand around it very squared off tubing it looks clean and um, it is just a nice looking bike in my personal opinion like this is clean i'd ride this bike no problem 100 mils of travel so this is again an entry level trail bike once you go to whistler bike park this is not going to take it but you probably could make it down to the bottom of the hill on this much better than that of a Walmart bike. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to buy a Walmart bike and do a review on it. Seat wise behind me here, they have the Norco branded entry level seat. We do see a few people looking to upgrade that, but it's no worse than any other entry level seat which comes with every bike out there. The Norco Storm really is for people who are looking to trail ride, I think, do the campground trails and get off road. That's why they've got this tire choice. It is not the most grippy for the worst conditions, but for the good conditions where you're just starting out, this is a great choice for it. The 100 mils of travel will do it. Wide gear range on it is gonna be nice, but once you actually get back into town or the campground, you're still gonna have a comfortable, fast rolling bike, which will actually do quite well. I know Norcos have been extremely hard to get, so let me know in the comments below if you already have one, what your opinion of it is. Um, I'd love to know, because this is honestly like one of the first ones we've got in this year, and it has been sold already, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, grips on these ones compared to the Trek series, for example, are just a standard mountain bike kind of perfectly round one as opposed to that comfort grip. So that's something again to the Norco Heritage where they are a mountain bike company. They want you to take this off road. Even they come stock with a 31.8 bar. So it's gonna be a little bit more control to it there. If you can make the jump up to the Norco Storm three or two, I really do think you are getting a significantly better off-road specific bike. But 
for what you're paying on this one, I would upgrade the tires if you start doing some really kind of crazy mountain biking with it and see where it takes you. It's definitely a great option in the bike world to uh, consider. Hopefully this helps you out. It's kind of a brief one this time. There's not much to say about it. It's very similar to the Trek Merlin 5 um, of 2021. This is a 2021 Norco Storm 4. So let's keep the confusingness uh, continuing and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Chris out.